Aquarius, welcome to my channel. All right, so let's see about this new person coming towards you. Ooh, this will not resonate with everyone. Please take what fits and leave the rest. Oh my goodness, why? All right, um, I don't know what is up with you and Capricorn. Let's see. Some of you have a past person that is coming uh, towards you after an ending. Okay, I'll put that out there. All right, so new person here. It looks like you um, have someone that's coming towards you that has possibly been on a break from someone for a long time. Um, it looks like this person has been out of the dating scene for a minute. And now it looks like they're trying to find someone that will bring some type of balance into their life. Okay. Let's see, someone that's willing to work towards a connection, a bond here. Yes, this person has been through it all. Hmm. Two different scenarios here. I'm telling you, somebody here has an ex that is coming back towards them, somebody that you walked away from, sweetheart. This person is basically trying to rekindle something that has long has been dead, a dead situation. Somebody's trying to resurrect a situation between you two. You walked away from this person, and this person has never forgotten you, has never gotten over this connection, period. Leaving that at that. All right, so for this new person here, like I said, this person has been in a, a, a relationship that kind of broke their heart, kind of broke their their pride, their self-esteem, okay? Did a lot of damage to their ego, okay? But this person basically, you know, this is something that they held on to for a long time as well. This person may have been... Um, Hoping that this situation was going to come back together, bring some balance into the situation. And after a while, they kind of realized that this is not going to work. It's not coming back. So they decided to go ahead and walk away from the situation for good. Um, they are looking for someone to bring some balance into their life. This person may seem kind of, I won't say cold, but not really willing to open up at this time. Not really willing to give too much of their heart at this time but like i'm telling you this person is coming towards you they do want stability they want a family they want long term they want marriage okay they want commitment and they are going to take a chance to come towards you make a small offer at this point in time but like i said this person is going to be very slow to open up fully to you okay let's see so this is someone that is going to need someone to keep some patience you got the strength card share and the strength uh, uh you have the strength card um clarifying the strength card so this is someone that has like i said has been holding back for a minute however they are going to find the courage to move forward the strength to move forward and actually uh move on from the situation okay coming in very little giving up um very little uh emotion here like i said this person is going to go at the situation more logical they have their defenses up okay because this person whoever they were with they really 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 did a number oh wow they did a number on this person here somebody just booked a reading hey <laughs> all right so yeah like i said you have the death card uh, here, which is also clarified by the Ace of Cups. They are going to start something new after an ending here. 
They're looking for their divine counterpart here. This person has spent a lot of time alone as well. They might be hanging out with friends and things like that. You know what I mean? But it kind of seems like they were hoping for um, a past situation to resurrect. However, like I said, you know, someone here after an amount of time, they realize that this situation here is uh, not for the highest good. It's not equally yoked. Someone here may be more spiritual. The other person may be more worldly, as they so to speak. Hmm. I also think that this person, excuse me, may have realized that they weren't really happy in this relationship, this past relationship here. Wow. So they've gotten some clarity about the past relationship and now they're looking forward to something else yes this person was possibly um involved with someone who had multiple parties going on and they found out about it and it wasn't the first time uh that this has happened to them so like i said they're coming in with very little emotion right now they are going to express some type of interest but you might feel that this person is non-committal, not vulnerable, um, not willing to express emotion. Let me tell you something. This person has a lot of love to give. They have a super duper huge, huge heart. And uh, wow, this person gave their, their heart to someone else that did not appreciate it. And basically that person... Um, really treated them like shit and I have to say it you know what I mean I'm seeing someone that is really really hurt and even though they are moving forward this person still has some some deep-seated pain they are they're moving forward but you know they've gotten clarity about the past situation and decided that it is time to invest in something new all right yeah, they gotten some clarity about this situation. Maybe a conversation happened between them and a past person. Let's see. Give me temperance here, please. I do believe, like I said, this person was put in between a third party situation. Um, whew, yeah, they were dealing with somebody that was inconsistent all over the place. Um, definitely looking at other options here when it comes to partnerships, love, sex, whatever it is. This person's basically going after other people, okay? And this person also might be going through a little bit of inner turmoil. But they are looking forward towards the future. But like I said, they are guarded, protecting themselves. Because, like I said, this person is very open, very vulnerable, and things like that normally. But under these certain circumstances, they're not willing to uh, open up too much too soon, okay? Okay. And not being funny, but I'm getting that this person might, I won't say get caught slipping, but you might see moments where they're very vulnerable and they catch themselves like, oh shit, I'm, I'm letting Aquarius in too much, okay? So just be mindful of that. It's not that they want to keep you out. It's a defense mechanism, okay? Yeah, this person would definitely want somebody that's going to work towards the relationship because like I said, the three of swords is clarified by the three of swords and the eight of pentacles. So not only do they want somebody that's going to work on the relationship, this person is working to repair their heart, okay, so that they can give this cup of love to someone else. But again, they're showing up like the queen of swords, being very analytical about the situation and slow to give, okay? Very, very slow. They don't want to be taken advantage of. Give me the Eight of Cups, please. All right, so you have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, there was this person was dealing with somebody. Um, it, this person is very passionate. The person that they were dealing with. Um, This person possibly gets a lot of attention as well. Very ego egotistical. And there's some secrets that came out about this person. They could have been actually married to this person, okay? 
but this person has also learned some lessons to set some boundaries and care more about themselves than they do other people all right and in turn karma is going to step in here so this past person is going to uh i feel sorry for them let me just put it that way all right yeah so karma is definitely going to come and hit them in the ass for treating someone like this especially it seems like this person is a real sweetheart all right so yeah so it kind of looks like uh, you and this person actually are going to have a spiritual connection. Looks like you're going to balance each other out very, very well. This person is definitely looking for marriage, someone stable, someone that they can actually grow with and a uh, confidant, someone that, you know, they can be open with and not have to hold their guard up. Because like I said, this person is still holding on to some things that happened to them. They want someone that they can trust and build with and be able to give their cup of love to, like I said. But this person is experiencing some um, mental conflict, inner, internal conflict about giving to a situation, okay? Because they're still stuck on some things from the past. Yeah. So they're being very analytical at this time, you know, making trying to make some wise choices for themselves, not um, let their heart overrule what they should do, okay? So, yeah, that's what we have here. <clears throat> Give me more information about this person. So, pretty much they want to know, can they trust you? Somebody's going through the dark night of the soul, doing some shadow work, trying to heal here, moving forward, leaving some things alone in the past setting up some boundaries all right learning some lessons here no distance will keep us apart all right so even though this person um feels like or you may feel like this person is a bit distant like i said this person is going to eventually put in the work for the relationship they are going to let you know what's going on they are going to ask for um you to be patient with them don't take it like this person is full of shit because they're not. They've, they've just gone through some stuff, okay? And then you have enlightenment on the bottom of the deck, seeing more clearly. So, yeah, they definitely are seeing things more clearly, learning some lessons here, like I said. And they're learning to set some boundaries. Healthy boundaries. All right, let's see. Because I think this person didn't have any before. They were possibly too open and too trusting. All right, so you have the acts. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So somebody's got, like I said, somebody's doing some um, shadow work here, dark night of the soul. Someone here, whew, my goodness, my God. Someone here, um, yeah, is literally holding up that mirror, looking at themselves. Okay, what could I have done differently to avoid this situation? All right, so you have coffee cup, meeting and conversing, <clears throat> excuse me, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So yeah, maybe this person wants to get to know you first. Uh, see how you think. Um, will the mask fall off? Will you be different two or three months from now? Whatever it is, you know what I mean? They want to be your friend first and then possibly progress there, which is it's really cool, you know? I, I think it's a good idea to be friends with the, your mate, you know, so that, that's real cool. All right, engagement. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. I told you this person is definitely looking for their forever person, someone that, um, you know, that's their life partner, someone that they can actually give their heart to and feel safe, all right? They want marriage, commitment, calling in your soulmate. This is what this person wants. All right, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. Uh, it says, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yes, so this is cool. This person is starting to open up and do that, you know, trying to put their guard down. They took some time to themselves to heal, which is cool. They didn't jump into something else, which is a beautiful thing. I like that. Took some time to turn that mirror around and work on themselves. All right. Um, so separation time apart from your partner, this is, um, 
this person is definitely in separation. You guys might actually take a while to get together. I think this is going to go real slow. Yeah, somebody's got some codependency issues here too. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, yes. Someone is, uh, like I said, they're doing some soul searching here. Um, they may have some issues when it comes to abandonment, you know, trying to figure out what did I do to deserve this and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? The only thing I can see is that this person didn't have their boundaries up and they were too open and too trusting, which is really sad that, you know, you have to be that way. But anyway, it is what it is. You have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so <laughs> looks like both of you are calling each other into each, you know, into each other's lives. You may have gone through some stuff too and went through some karmic lessons with some people and are pretty much, you know, kind of feeling the same way this person is, but a little bit more open and more um apt to move forward, okay? And let people in. Just um, be patient with this person if you intend on trying to make it work with this person here, okay? Like I said, if you kind of feel that this person is a bit standoffish or whatever, there's a background story here, okay? So that's what I have for you. Bye.